we are back in meteorite country and this time with more advanced tactics we're gonna get the space rock let's put the coil to the soil and get started let's go Niklas found a good signal here. Lower the coil and oh man, oh man, listen. It's the sweet sound of a space rock. Nice signal somewhere right here, but I have a feeling it's a shallow object. But let's go in with the small pinpointer and see if it beeps. Somewhere, ah, there it was already. Oh, but what could it be? Wood. I found wood, but there must be some metal attached to the wood. Okay, I got it here and it looks like it's a bent nail. Oh, there's another one. At least our meteorite detector is really good, but this was not the meteorite we were looking for. It's a definite meteor wrong. <sighs> Let's continue. We visited this place a couple weeks ago and now we're back here in northern Sweden and we learned some valuable lessons that we're gonna apply now. First of all, we reduced the coil size a little bit so now we can squeeze into even more dense forest while still having the coil big enough to get the deep meteorites. Ah, swamp. End of the road. Meteorite that way. Today's tactic is that we're going to hunt an already heavily hunted area. We know that there has been lots of meteorites found in the forest here behind me. But now we're gonna get to those really difficult parts of the forest in the swamps, between the branches, and in between the bushes. And we think that no other person dared to go there. But here on the True Vikings, we do the impossible. Lots of mosquitoes out today. Let's go hunting. This giant chunk of metal gave an awesome signal. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like some kind of gas canister or... I don't know, maybe it f fell out of a tractor. It says... Germany and the serial number here. Well, this one was not a meteorite, but the next one will be a meteorite. I promise you that. I believe that we're gonna find at least one 10 kilogram iron nickel meteorite somewhere from this forest. Niklas, on the other hand, he doesn't think so, but I'm gonna prove him wrong. And at the end of the day, we're gonna see who's right and who's wrong. best find so far just underneath this pine tree here it was oh man it's a tin can let's see what kind of can i can see some text here in what language is that it's swedish it says conserve tin can tinned something can't make out much from this but someone has had a good snack here Maybe a meteorite hunter before us. Well, on we go. Let's go hunting, he said. It will be fun, he said. I told Niklas that we're gonna have at least one meteorite before lunchtime, but lunchtime is coming up really soon now. Well, at least we have 24 hours of daylight here up above the Arctic Circle, so maybe lunchtime tomorrow then. 
let's see how that turns out. Okay, somewhere here in this dense forest is where the other detectorists did not walk, maybe there, and that's where we're gonna squeeze through. I am all exhausted here in the forest in Sweden, but I just can't stop thinking about those kiddies. For every like this video will get, we will donate one cent to an animal shelter. So be sure to click that like and help out those kiddies. Meow. This is both discouraging and exciting at the same time. Someone found a meteor right here. Not a very big one, not very deep but we know that we're on hotspot territory. And if this would have been just a couple meters that way, or that way, in here between the branches, they would never have found it. And it might be our turn today then. But here, too late to the party, but we're gonna get the next party. I don't know about you, Niklas, but I get more excited by seeing this. Been here for four hours now, and still no meteorites. This is the second time coming to this area and I published a video about the first trip a couple weeks ago. If you are interested in the scientific stuff, make sure to check out that video. When the meteorite fell down, what permits to get. Another signal here right next to this tree here, but it was a little bit too good of a signal to be a meteorite. So we checked with the pinpointer and we noticed that it's, it's very shallow, but it's somewhere underneath the moss here, so it's been here for quite a while. Let's see what we can find. It's very deep. Could it be a meteorite? I don't know. Interesting, interesting. Where, oh, there it is. It's rusty, a little bit red. I don't think meteorites are supposed to be red, so. But uh, let's dig it out. Whoa, it's something big. Oh man, this is the biggest tin can I have ever seen in my life or dug up. Oh, it's a uh, coffee, Swedish coffee. <laughs> it's, a, it's a can full of coffee. This is awesome. This made the trip worthwhile, even if we don't find anything. But we're going to find it in the next hole. We have walked for miles and miles, but no luck yet. And uh, I'm gonna sell that machine to the next sucker that comes around. But I smell meteorites this way. I think we're gonna go there next and find it. Come on, let's go. We're gonna switch up to a more superior tactic now. We discovered this partially logged area with these, uh, are they called stubs in English? I'm too exhausted to think of the name, but I'm gonna call it a stub. They have been cut down and they are everywhere here behind me. As all geophysicists out there know, the best signal will always be straight in the middle of the frame here. And if past detectorists haven't been able to walk over this, they would have missed a big area with meteorites. With this new approach, I know we're gonna find a lot of meteorites. Niklas is a little bit skeptical as usual, but hey, we got all day, all week, all month to look for rocks. Let's find them. Interesting surface find once again. It's very heavy. It is rounded, so it has been a sphere, a full circle. And I have seen this before. Last year when we were hunting Second World War battlefields in Finland, we saw lots of similar stuff. So I believe this is shrapnel. 
probably anti-aircraft shrapnel. And we're so close to the Finnish border here that it's very likely that the Finns have been shooting at Soviet bombers flying over here. Interesting piece of history here in the middle of the forest. And if we can find this, we're gonna be able to find the meteorite. Because this also fell from the sky, just like the meteorite did a million years ago. Cool, let's continue. We just walked upon something. Listen to this. Oh man, oh man. What could it be, Niklas? Such a weak signal, so it's probably trash. You think so? Yeah, from previous experience I can tell. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a meteorite. <laughs> okay, it's time to switch detector and go in with the small guy to see if it's surface trash. Somewhere here. Uh, <sighs> oh yes, tin can indeed, but a small one. We made our best discovery here at the end, a shovel. And we're gonna be back in next week's video digging with this shovel. See you guys there and then, true Vikings, out. <laughs>